everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another Minecraft video. So, with Minecraft 1.13's release came a brand new world type. So if we go into single player, create new world, more world options, and click on world type a few times, what you guys are going to notice is A, the customized world type from 1.12 has sadly been removed, but it has been replaced with the buffet world type. So if we click on customize, what you guys are going to notice is a list of every single biome in Minecraft. So you can generate a single biome world, which is what we're going to be doing today, but also the world generator option. So surface is the equivalent of the overworld terrain generation. Caves is the equivalent of nether terrain generation. And floating islands is essentially end islands generation. So as a bit of a challenge, as a bit of a pilot episode, pending your guys' feedback in way of like ratings, we are going to generate ourselves a floating snow world and potentially starting a new UHC challenge series where, if this does turn into a series, the goal will very simply be to take down the dragon and the wither boss. So, here we go, my friends. Let's go on to hardcore mode. We're going to call this place the Snowy Isles. And let's see what kind of world we get here. All right, guys. So, here we are in our brand new world. So, guys... Like I say, this is a pilot episode for a potential new series. So, if this video can hit something like, let's say, 2,000 likes, I will consider turning this into a full-blown series on the channel. And I should say, if it does become a series, it won't be replacing Python's World or Hermitcraft. It will be in addition to. So, what that means is, if this does become a series we will potentially be having two Minecraft videos on certain days. Because, yeah, I'm rather enjoying Minecraft at the moment. I really, really am. Especially with 1.13's release. So, uh, yeah. Well, let's have a little bit of a look around our spawn point here. So, there's a floating igloo down there. I can't say I'm entirely sure what the heck is going on there, but oh well. Uh, there's trees. Oh, there's one up there. Okay, so if we stare our way up to there, we can get ourselves some wood. So, okay, so in this pilot episode, there's a couple of things I want to try and do. Uh, first of which is I'd like to try and get a shield. Because honestly, having a shield is going to increase our survival capabilities by like tenfold. It's going to be absolutely insane. And actually, before I forget, before I forget, we actually need to activate UHC mode. Because that's what I said I'd do. So, what we need to do, as you saw there, open to LAM. Enable cheats, and then go ahead and do slash game rule natural regeneration false. And what that means, guys, is the only way we can regenerate health now is by going ahead and eating a golden apple or using a health regeneration potion or instant health potions or anything like that. Basically, anything that gives you the regeneration status effect. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how we do with food not being the only source of regeneration or not being a source of regeneration more to the point so anyways we're making a bit of a start here <clears throat> trying to get ourselves a little bit of wood and then all will be well all right so there we go we've taken down that tree and what we're going to do next very very simply is make a bit of a start on getting some tools so how's about we go ahead and make ourselves a pickaxe first there we go and let's have a bit of a look around here. Make sure there's no... Uh, oh, zombie flesh. Okay, pretty interesting. Uh, I, I mean, should we just like dig down here and try and get some stone for stone tools and a furnace? I don't know. I feel like that'd be the way to do things, my friends. I really, really do. So, ah, andesite. For once in my life, I don't want andesite. I like andesite normally, but not right now. I don't really need it right now. So... Let's just dig towards where the stone is. Hopefully make sure we don't wind up, like, falling through the world. Because that is a very, very real danger on this. There's so many dangers on this. It really, really is kind of insane. So obviously the void is probably the biggest danger and the quickest way to an irreversible death. Uh, mobs are a very dangerous thing as well. Because... Uh, because, you know, there's not a lot of spawning spaces for the mobs. Where they can spawn, they're going to spawn in their multitudes. Like, honestly, it's going to be insane. It's going to be like skyblock level spawn rates for the mobs. It's going to be nuts, guys. Which is why, once again, I'd really like to try and grab myself a shield. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, make ourselves some upgraded tools. Let's bring up the crafting book. Uh, we'll have ourselves a pickaxe, a, a shovel, a sword, an axe. Okay. Uh, wait, do we have enough? Uh, we need 
a furnace. And if we grab ourselves one more bit of cobble, we can actually make ourselves a hoe as well. Which is going to be pretty useful for farming because that's another pretty crucial element to this. Is having some sort of food source. So, there we go. Yeah, fantastic. Alright, so we've got a bunch of stuff going on, my friends. All is looking well. Oh, man. I'm super excited for this. I really, really am. So, like I say, food is going to be a crucial thing to this. So, how's about we start punching down some grass and hopefully getting ourselves some seeds from it. That would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, are we going to have one? Come on, man. Yep, yeah, there we go. If I can get something like, I don't know, 16 seeds, I think that would be a really, really cool amount to have. All right. <gasps> A polar bear! Oh my gosh! I feel like it's been absolutely ages since I've seen polar bears in Minecraft. Oh man, you don't want to get on the wrong side of those bad boys. They will wreck your day. They really, really will. And in my case, they will end the series. So, let's not, eh? Let's stay away from them. Just doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Right, there's another seed. Oh! Every time he makes a noise, I think he's, like, making his way over to me. But I know that the only way they become automatically hostile is if they have, like, a cub nearby or something like that, if I remember correctly. Um, so, yeah, everything's looking well. We've got seeds. Uh, we've got tools. We need to try and find ourselves some iron, ideally. If we do manage to find some iron, then we can get ourselves a shield, a bucket, which, again, is going to be a pretty crucial way of getting around the world, and maybe also a sword. You know, a good sword, a decent sword. Everybody loves a decent sword, right? So, let's have a bit of a look around. We're looking for iron. Ah, yes. Okay, cool. Right. Um, that's a bit ominous. That is very dangerous. Um, all right. I'm going to try and make my way down there without dying. If I die, that's the end of the series before it's even become a series, potentially. Right. Let's get rid of that. And I tell you what, let's get rid of some of our old stuff. Let's, let's get all of these on. Here we go. And we can get around just a little bit easier, okay? So that's okay to jump down onto. Looking good. Let's hope that none of these bits of iron fall off, because that would be really bad. I don't want them to fall off, like, at all. Right, there we go. Uh, so if I manage to get six bits of iron in total, then that will be enough to get ourselves a bucket, a shield, and also, I believe... A sword, right? An iron sword. I mean, the more damage we can do, the better. Wait, what's that? Six? Oh my god, we've got six on the door. That's fantastic. All right. Brilliant. Okay, so let's go up here. Uh, what else do we need? A little bit of coal? Or maybe some charcoal? That'd be pretty cool. <gasps> Holy moly. Dudes, there's an igloo over there. There's an igloo on the land. So we had an igloo floating above the void before. But now we've got one on land. So if it's generated on land, what that should mean is we have a bed. Right? A naturally generated bed. <gasps> oh my gosh. That would be amazing, dudes. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Right. Uh, more seeds, please. The more seeds, the better, my friends. The more seeds, the better. There we go. That's 13. The more we get, the better off we are going to be. So let's just continue. That's 14... Come on, man. Just a little bit more there, buddy. Uh, 16. Oh, I think 16's a good number. All right. Guys, I can't believe we've got one on the surface. So before this, uh, before this episode began, I did generate a few test worlds just to see if this concept for a series would actually work, you know, in the way of strongholds and abandoned mineshafts. But it turns out that the abandoned mineshafts pretty much just float. Yeah, look, down there. There's one down there. They pretty much just float amongst the void. Which is very, very weird. And also, yes, strongholds also do generate above the void. So, you know, they do generate. So, we can actually do this as a series. But there we go. We do actually have a bed in here. Oh, my God. Yo! Okay. Right, let's use this to get ourselves some stuff then. Uh, so, one, two, three. Each bit of wood does f uh, one and a half, right? Oh, God. That's turned into a water source. All right. Um, yeah, that's a thing that's just happened. Uh, hmm. I'll tell you what. If I chuck this one down as well and take out a bit of that, then we can get ourselves some iron fairly, fairly quickly. Oh, dude. I can't believe that. 
If there wasn't a bed here, then we would have had to do it the difficult way, which is going down to abandoned mine shafts and trying to dig up some of the cobweb, or even worse still, trying to take down some spiders and risking losing some health on our very first episode. So, yeah. Anyways, so here we go. Once this one is smelted, we can make ourselves a bucket and get ourselves a bucket of water. And uh, having a bucket of water is going to allow us to traverse the world a lot easier. So, there we go. Let's pick you up. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, let's fill that block back in. There we go. Oh, gosh darn it. All right, well, let's just grab these ones. There we go. All right, so let's go chuck this in right here. Uh, should we make ourselves a chest as well? Yeah, why not? Okay. We'll have a chest. There's all of that going on. Uh, there's a couple of bits of iron. Let's grab ourselves out a shield. There we go. Another objective complete. And finally, a sword. There we go. Fantastic. And then the rest of it, I imagine we could just use for torches, right? There we go. Looking good. Okay, so, all of this stuff going on now, which is very, very cool. Uh, I'm going to just place the redstone torch down there, because why not? And in here, uh, I guess we can just start placing down some various other stuffs. Like, stuffs we don't really need. Like, there's a crafting table in here as well. Uh, there's a log there. That's pretty cool. Uh, hmm. Right. I'll tell you one thing we haven't discovered. Do we have a basement in this place? If we have a basement in this place, that would be the best thing ever. I'm not kidding. If there is a basement, it's going to be below this carpet here. Three, two, one, break it up. Oh my god, no way. There is. There's actually a basement to this place. Holy moly. All right. So if we're lucky, if we go down here, there is a chance we'll have some food in one of the chests. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh! I think these guys are invisible. Oh, hey, a cobweb. Cool. If we get ourselves three cobwebs, we can make a bow. What the heck? There's no dudes there. All right, let's see what we've got in here. Hey, there we go. Hey! There we go! Golden apple. That is absolutely fantastic. You want to know why that's fantastic? That is two hearts of health regeneration right there. So if we lose health, we can get it right back. Oh my god. Cactus. We can make a cactus farm. If we get some sand. Uh, yep, there's a splash potion of weakness. That's pretty cool. And of course, we've got a cauldron as well, just because, you know, we do. Huh. I wonder if I relog, and then maybe these guys will appear again? Give me a sec, we'll relog. Ah, there we go. A simple relog. Did the trick. Hello there, buddy. Oh, my word. So there's one thing to mention, and that is the fact that uh, villagers are going to be a pretty crucial part of this series. Because we don't get farmland animals generate in snowy biomes, aside from bunnies, but bunnies aren't that good of a source of leather, not really. Uh, using villagers to get bookcases and therefore high level enchants will be the way to go. Unless we find a stronghold early on. Which is possible, I guess. Anyways, let's have a look at your trades. Uh, 36. 9 iron ingots. Uh, sorry, 9 gold ingots. Ah, dang it. These are pretty terrible, actually. Hmm. You see, I could... I do have the resources, technically speaking, to cure this guy as well. But I'm not entirely sure that I want to do that. Because we're still pretty early game, I think it would be a much better idea if we saved the golden apple... For when we might actually need it. And if we do manage to get ourselves a few more gold apples. Then yeah. I will 100% cure this guy. Because there's always the chance that he will have better trades. Than this cleric here. Right. And then all we need to do is get ourselves a bunch of gold. We can get some emeralds that way. And we can maybe you know cure some other zombie villagers. Get ourselves a librarian. All that kind of stuff as well. So yeah. Anyways. Let's go to sleep. Um. Oh. Okay. We're sleep shuffling. Oh my word. <laughs> That's so weird. Right. I mean, we could always go ahead. Oh, that's that's a lot of dudes. There's a lot of dudes out here. I don't feel like that's a good place to go. Right. Do we have some dirt? If I grab myself a few more bits of dirt, like 16 bits of dirt, then I can make myself a farm. And I think probably the best idea would be to just go ahead and make a tiny little room coming off the basement and having it there, right? I think that would be the best idea. So, we have ourselves a shield, we have ourselves a bed, and now we're going to have ourselves a food source. Oh, oh my goodness me. 
Okay, that doesn't look very good. All right, what about over this way? Going on over here. Hey! This looks like an area where I could probably do a little bit of farming. Hey, not bad, not bad. Okay, right. So let's put down some torches. And hopefully we don't come across the void. Because again, that is a very real danger and a very real possibility. So, let's just continue digging this out. A 4x4 four four should be enough to get ourselves a reasonable farm going, at the very least. And then away we go from there. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Maybe you're learning a thing or two about how to how to survive your first night in a, in a buffet floating island's world on UHC mode. I mean, to be honest, I don't envision many people playing this kind of game mode. But you know, you know, it's always interesting to try something new, right? Yeah. Alright, so, there's the dirt. Okie doke. All we gotta do is place it all down. We'll get the water bucket, we'll chuck you in there. And then if we start tilling the land, all of this should wind up being moisturized. And then we can start placing down all of the crops. Yes. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Right, in the meantime, if we go back up top, we can go grab ourselves another water source from the other ice block. That forms part of the structure here. Yep, there we go. Boop. Yay! Water bucket! Yeah, it's all mine, man! It's all mine. Right, and we'll make a snowball or snow block and we'll place you in there. And there we go. We have ourselves a proper little base. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Right, uh, let's go and plant down some trees so we have a little bit around here. And maybe in the meantime, we could go chop a couple more down or something. Dude, we're doing so well for our first episode. We've not lost any health whatsoever. And we've already completed all of the objectives that I wanted to get done in today's video. Oh my word. Like, if you haven't dropped a like rating on today's video already, my friends, then you gotta, man. You gotta. Because if so, then I will turn this into a poppy series. I really, really will. So, come on, man. Come on, man. All is looking well. There we go. Uh, if we could grab ourselves some more saplings, we can have ourselves a bit of a homemade forest. That would be absolutely brilliant. Yes, yes, that would be nice. There we go. A little bit more. Come on, man. Maybe like one more or something. Am I, am I being greedy here? Probably. I don't know. Uh, hey, there we go. Right, I think that'll do. I think that'll do pretty nicely. Okay, so let's have a bit of a look around here. Are there any like surface abandoned mine shafts? I mean, it doesn't look like it. There was one pretty much right below the igloo. But it's a bit dangerous and it's a bit far down to get to. There's another one down there. Although I'm pretty sure they are all part of one, you know, abandoned mine shaft. They're just like sections of one, right? So, yeah. Alright, uh, maybe we surround this igloo with trees. Make it look like it's belonging in a forest or something. There we go. And one there. Yay! A forested igloo of awesomeness. Right, now then, I want to make a door real quick. Uh, let's make a door. There we go. We'll place you in there. Yeah, look at us now, man. Oh, baby. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, yeah. There we go. Looking good, my friends. Looking good. Ah, you, you gotta love this stuff. Right, so there's a bunch of iron down there. Do we want to try and go down there and maybe take on our first ever mobs? Oh, no. I don't mean to do that. Oh, jeez. So careless with my shields. Good lord. I can't be careless with my shields, man. That thing right there is going to prevent me from dying. Legit. Oh, my word. Oh, so that's where that... Ah. You see, from a distance, that could probably be mistaken for a stronghold. But actually, that's just the basement room to our igloo. <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right. Well, uh, good day to you, Mr. Creepy. Hello. Hi. Please don't kill me. Hello, sir. Oh, back off. And critical strike. Oh, yeah. Combat master. Yeah, you can't take me down, man. Like I say, I'm the combat master. Ain't no one taking me out of the game. No, 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 no. Right, what's going on down here? I got a nasty feeling someone's going to come out of there and just wreck my butt. Wait, what? The slimes. What? The slimes on the surface of a snow world. Huh? This can only be because this is quite low down, right? Oh god, we're not getting killed by slimes. Can you imagine if we got killed by slimes? I would literally have to end my Minecraft career right there. That would be like the most embarrassing thing anyone's ever gone through. Legit. 
Right, anyways, so we've got some slime balls now. We could always make some leads. Although then again, we need ourselves a little bit more string beforehand, right? So if we do manage to get ourselves down to an abandoned mine shaft, then, uh, you know, that would be pretty cool. Right, in the meantime, some more iron. The more iron we get, the more we'll be building towards some iron armor. So that, my friends, will be pretty cool. Yes. All right, there we go. All right, let's dig back down. All blocks are sacred. Got a bunch of coal around here as well. You know, it's going to be just a case of getting some generic resources at this point, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Just a little bit of coal. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but uh, the chances of coming across diamond ore in these wild types is, like, incredibly rare. Because the bottoms of these islands, for the most part, just sort of stop before you get to diamond level. So... You know, there's a few other ways of getting diamonds, of course. You can get them from abandoned mineshaft chests. You can get them from nether fortress chests. And I think there's, like, one other way of getting them as well. I could be wrong. I'm not entirely sure. But definitely nether fortresses and abandoned mineshaft are, are, like, the top ways of getting them. So, yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're looking pretty good, guys. We're looking pretty good. Oh, I missed a bit of coal. Yes, I need that. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Cancer. Right. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. All right. Not bad, guys. Not bad. We are doing very well for our first episode. Like, I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite astounded at how lucky we got with finding this igloo. This is absolutely insane. I'm so happy. I really, really am. There we go. We've got ourselves a few more bits of iron for our troubles. Yeah, not bad at all. I might as well fill this up. Uh, we've got the food right there. Oh, I didn't even plant down the wheat seeds. Whoops. We should probably do that and then we'll end the episode. Also, we need to eat because if we starve to death, then that will also be a very, very bad way to go. All right, there we go. A seedy place. Yes. We are planting the seeds of civilization in the way of seeds on the ground. Yes, Mr. Zumble. It's all good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, on that note, we are going to go ahead and end the pilot episode of Snowy Isle Survival right there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys would like to see this become a full-blown series on the channel, then please do be sure to drop a like rating. It is by far the best way. Let me know if you want to see more. It really, really is. And it would mean the world to me if you did. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future Minecraft videos. But for now, my friends, it's time for me to head up. Final thing I want to mention real quick is if this does become a series then it will not be replacing Python's World or Hermitcraft. It will be in addition to. And what that means is, yes, there may even be some days on this channel where there are two Minecraft videos. Two! Two Minecraft videos for your beautiful faces. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next episode.